Peroni, Grand Reserva, Doppia, Doppio, Molto. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Before I start this review, there is a gale blowing outside. Well, it's more than a gale. It's a proper storm. And uh, you're probably going to get a lot of uh, rain, wind, and things falling over. And I would just like to say, anybody who's lost a trampoline from their garden, commiserations. Anybody who's just found a trampoline, congratulations. Anyway, let's get on to the beer. I've got Peroni Grand Reservo Doppio Molto. This is um, a beer that they've brewed, Peroni have brewed, um, to commemorate the, uh, I think it's the centenary of their, um, their brewery in Italy. Now, Peroni, I have tried, or I've reviewed on here once, and it was absolutely disgusting. It was so light struck, it wasn't funny. Um, you can see that review, that's on there if you look up Peroni on there. Peroni's a great beer though, it is good. I just got a bad bottle and I know it was bad because I've drunk Peroni in restaurants and stuff before and it's been great and I've gone out all night and drunk it and come home totally smashed and it's been brilliant. This stuff, I tried it once before years ago and cannot remember what it was like so I, got, I saw a bottle of it yesterday, picked it up and I am gonna review it now. Here is the cap. Um, there is the label. Got a nice little funky bottle. Looks almost like a sort of a spirits bottle. Uh, I'll just read you out. They make a big thing about all the ingredients on this, how they've been picked specially and specially selected and all that, which you'd probably expect from uh, um, a, a centenary beer or commemor commemorative beer. Uh, this is 6.6%, so it's quite you know quite hefty. Uh, it's 500 milliliter bottle, which is about a pint. Um, and it's just water, barley, malt, hops, and that's it. Um, this contains a barley called sherry, which is unique to Italy, and they use this in there. This has won quite a few awards as well, so that should be good. Let's get it open. As I say, here is the cat. Usual caper. There is the cap. Right, he's going into collection. What are we getting on the nose? Oh, sweet malt. It smells almost Belgian. Mm, let's get it into the glass. Oops. Nearly had a spillage there. Loads of carbonation in that. Massive head on that as well. Not to worry. Oh yeah, very sweet malt on that. It smells great. There's a sort of three finger head on that. That's just the way I've poured it though. Um, golden colour, lots of carbonation. Let's get it down the hatch and see what is occurring. Mm. Cool. The malt in that really does stand out. It's very sweet. And I'm getting alcohol notes on that as well. Spirit alcohol. It does remind me of a Belgian golden ale. Some spice in that too. This, if I drank this and didn't know, or didn't see the bottle, and didn't know it was Peroni, I'd swear this was a Belgian golden ale. God. 
that's really heavy on the malt. I think if you're expecting a lager here, even though it's a bottom fermented beer, um, I don't know whether it's stored for as long as lager is or not, but <coughs> it's it's more than that. It's more reminiscent of a Belgian strong ale, or a Belgian golden ale, I should say, or golden beer, as they call it over there. Really heavy on the malt, sweet malt. There's a touch of spirit alcohol on that, which you'd expect if it's 6.6. .6. Um, and there's some spice on that too, which again is making it, you know, taste like a Belgian beer. It's quite nice though, it does go down quite well. Um, but as I say, the malts really stand out in this sweet, sort of, I would imagine they're. I'd imagine they're their own specially selected mulch, which they say, and there's that one called Sherry, Sherry Malt or Barley, I can't remember, well Malt is Barley, but you know, but altogether it's not bad, it's quite a nice combination on that, um, and it's, <clears throat> it's going down quite well, that's cold, and uh, it's got it's still got them spicy notes coming through. This is probably not the right time of year to be drinking it. There is an absolute hurricane blowing out there with loads of rain, high winds. But all things considered, I really like this. It's really rich, rich, malty. Reminds me of a Belgian. So yeah, what would I give that? I'd give that a seven out of 10. And I'd recommend it. Um, Morrison's do this, and they do it on special offer. Um, you can buy the 330ml bottles. The 330ml bottles are quite expensive, but if you can get the 500ml bottle on special offer, then you might go wrong. It's really nice. Would I recommend it? Of course, yeah. Get out there and get some. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>